What's up, brother? You want a battle? What's up, brother? Thank you, brother. All right. All right, guys. Back with another. Let's see what they talk about. Um, we're back with the cooked aunties of the year. Let's see. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single the, guy. The cookedest aunties of the year. The most cookedest. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Josh. I'm 37. Okay, and Josh, what do you do? I invest in stocks and uh, I'm getting into content creation. Okay, so, nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I play a lot of basketball, uh, poker, hmm. you know, things like that. That's, okay. that's mainly what I do nice most of the time yeah. <laughs> and now what are some things you look for in a woman uh i don't i don't too much care for some people that smoke like okay. especially cigarettes and things like that so somebody that likes to be in the gym mm -hmm. you know like an active woman because i'm active myself um somebody that's loyal mm -hmm. humble okay like those are the main things I got it now what are some of your deal breakers uh well the smoking for sure mm -hmm. <laughs> um that's the biggest thing. Um, a liar. Mm. I don't care for a liar, but those okay. are the main two. All right. Got it. Mm. All right. So, Josh, we don't have any pop balloons, so you're doing pretty well. And so what that means is I'm actually going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So there are quite a few ladies here. So for the first round, everyone always says, oh, my God, it's so tough. But, yeah, I'm going to have you <laughs> pop <laughs> three balloons. Kind of just based off of what you're seeing, who doesn't really fall into your type, whatever it may be. So let me hand you this. Okay. And go ahead and pop those three, and then I'll go ahead um, and ask you why we ended up popping them after. Okay. Okay, three? Yes, sir, uh, three balloons. Why does he gotta pop? Why do he gotta pop? Let's see. Okay, I don't even know y'all. Okay, two more. And one more. Okay, let's start with the first one you ended up popping. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, if we can start with your name and age. Hi, my name is Shay and I'm 37. And Shay, uh, you did have your balloon unpopped for Josh. Why so? Because when he came out, I just I thought he was attractive and I just wanted to hear more about him. Okay, all right. Feel his energy out. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh, why'd you end up popping Shay's balloon? Uh, just not my type. Mm. Uh, it's that simple. Okay, and what makes her not really your type? Mm just not normally the type I go for. Uh, maybe the dress, not really, you know, my thing, but okay. like she's she's a beautiful woman, just not, Thank you. not my type. Okay. All right, let's go on to our next lady over here. If we can start with your name and age, Divinia. Why is she trying to set the nigga up? Why is she not your type? Like, what the fuck do you want me to say? She's hit? Like, why'd you pick a cooked ass shorty to be up there? That's what, you just try and set some shit up. You not slick in that outfit is ass. Yeah, I'm 41. Okay. And Davinia, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Josh? Um, I think Josh is handsome and I think he was well spoken. So I just wanted to see if the vibe was there, chemistry, and obviously it wasn't. So <laughs> <laughs> we're good. Uh, <laughs> and Josh, why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, popping uh, her balloon. Yeah. Um, just uh, I don't like a lot of makeup. You know, mm -hmm. um, I just, that's all, that's all it is. Okay. So, that's all I have to go off of, you know. Got it. All uh, right. Thank you. And over here, if we can start with your name and age. My name is Chanel Coco Stiletto. I'm 42. Okay. And Chanel, you had your balloon on pop for Josh. Why? Well, he came out very handsome, well-spoken. However, he did say his deal breaker was smoking. I am not a smoker when it comes to cigarette. But I am a medicinal, so I'm pretty sure that's... I was going to pop my balloon, but I figure you can do it for yourself. So that's what it was. Okay. <laughs> All right. And Josh, why did you end up popping her balloon? I actually don't mind weed. Like, oh. that's cool. It's just the cigarettes, like, yeah. that is what it is. But just, like, the makeup and, you know what I mean? Like, I like a more natural look, so that's okay. pretty much All right, cool. It. Thank you, ladies. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these ladies a question to help you narrow it down. Hey, um, any of y'all have that's what I'm saying. Like, 
I don't know. Wait, are they supposed to ask him questions or is he supposed to ask them questions? I feel like she's putting a lot of the shit on him. Like, yo, you got to figure out. You pop the balloons. Is that how it's supposed to go? Am I bugging or is it the other way around? Are they supposed to... I don't know. I have kids. Everyone. Everyone. Okay. <laughs> they all got yeah, kids. Got okay. Um, I guess I'll just ask a different question. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga. <laughs> you don't want to know no more. You want to quit now. Nigga said, oh, shit. All right. <laughs> I guess I'll ask another question. Fuck, how many, baby? Like, nah, that nigga is funny, son. This nigga walked out in the most basic outfit. This is the most starter pack outfit. <laughs> oh, fuck, I don't got the right screen on. Damn. I meant to have it on this one. And hey, yo, this nigga has the most starter pack outfit on ever, son. That's hilarious. They got the cargoes, the white forces with the low socks and the Nike Air. Dog. I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking crying. He said, how many of y'all got kids? Shit. This nigga is funny. I got kids too, so we good. How many kids do you oh, have? Okay. I have two kids. Oh, okay. Maybe he good then. Never mind. That nigga said I got kids too, so it's okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Let me keep watching. Kids, okay. How many kids y'all got? Dog. Okay. Let's, oh, uh, hold on, y'all. I'm going to come to y'all. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's start. Look, they overexcited. Once they found out this nigga got kids, they was like, oh, no, nah, we got a shot. <laughs> they can't even wait for the microphone to get to them. They're so excited. I actually don't mind. We got a shot. Fuck. Open, you know what I mean? I'm crying. To help me narrow it down. Hey, um, do any of y'all have kids? Dog, I'm crying. Everyone. Okay. <laughs> they all got kids. Okay. Um, I guess I'll just ask a different question. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> hey, okay. I got kids too, so we good. How many kids do you have? I have two kids. Two kids, okay. How many kids y'all got? Okay. Let's, oh, uh, hold on, y'all. I'm going to come to y'all. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's start here. Okay. If we can have your name and age and how many kids do you have? Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. I'm 39, and I have two kids, um, a girl, 20, and my son is 15. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. Name and age and how many kids you have? Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm 37, and I have one child. I have a daughter who's nine. That orange Down over crazy. here. Your name and age and how many kids you have? I'm Shay. I'm 37. I have one son who will be 14. On the eighth of this month. Okay. Name and age, and how many kids you have? Hey, Josh. I'm Janae. I have three kids. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what ages? Seventeen, twelve, and seven. Okay. So, all right. Name and age, and how many kids you have? Venusian, thirty-nine. I have a son. He's twenty, and a daughter that's seven. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's back it on up. <laughs> I don't think we got the age of your kids. I know you said you have two. Yeah, I have a. 13 year old and an eight year old. Okay, 13 and eight, okay. Yeah. Any other questions for these ladies? Kind of help you narrow it down. I don't know, I, don't, I guess the kids aren't a deal breaker obviously for you. No, I mean, okay. <laughs> actually I prefer kids because at least you know what it is. But, got it, okay. Yeah. Um, what is your toxic trait? Mm, okay, what is your toxic trait? Ladies and gentlemen, we are 37 years old asking what is your toxic trait hey yo if you're still being quote unquote toxic at anything over 22 years old <laughs> yo i'm um wow wow hey yo 37 years old talking about what's your toxic trait what what do we do what are we doing you're not even you shouldn't even be in a position to try to be toxic at 37 single you get what i'm saying you should be in a position to be as grateful and as humble and respectful and understanding as possible and yet we're still talking about what's like you setting yourself up for failure 
You know? Five dollars. That's enough to make a difference this in this election. Crazy. If ever. I think I can read energy and sometimes I might overthink things a little too much like I might read into the energy a little too much which can create just create like overthinking so so you jump to conclusions yes. I wouldn't necessarily say I jump to conclusions but like I just probably think sometimes a little too much mm -hmm. Potentially jumps to conclusions, but mm -hmm. not quite. Okay. No, I, <laughs> I mean, when I you overthink things, like we're all human, you know. So like, mm -hmm. it's like a we all overthink sometimes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah, all right. <laughs> What's your toxic trait? I believe my toxic trait is seeing red flags and still trying to work through the potential of a person. So I think that hasn't worked well for me. Um, always trying to see the good um, instead of just letting certain situations go. Okay. Good. And that's exactly what I was saying earlier. You be ch y'all shorties be trying to, when you have a kid with a dude, it's oh m mistake. No, you saw the red flags from the jump, and you still stayed with dude, hoping you was gonna either change him, or you just enjoyed the red flags, so you stayed with him because you guys like drama and emotional shit, and for some reason you like being treated bad. So I can see why you stayed with the shitty guy. Ended up having a kid and ended up being sick. It makes sense. It makes sense. Down here. All right. What's your toxic that trait? Outfit is getting me tight. I'm always trying to help people and I tend to hinder people sometimes. Like it's kind of unhealthy sometimes because I'm always like trying to, I help overly help. Okay. Okay. <laughs> What's your toxic trait? Overly help. Um, <laughs> if I'm not being heard, I get a little frustrated can probably get loud so mm. that's my toxic trait do you get violent no okay. but i am <laughs> i'm just <laughs> aggressive a little bit okay yeah by nature Ver but not on verbally purpose. <laughs> verbally okay <laughs> that's the same thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah i get a little loud when i'm frustrated and not being hurt okay yeah all right what's your toxic trait uh detaching completely withdrawing mm. yeah like mm all the time or just something no, just like if we are having a disagreement and again like i'm not being heard i withdraw so i'll mm. need some time okay okay thank you what does that even mean detaching are so like do you break up or you just stop talking to the nigga for a couple of days i don't understand you gonna go get with another dude? Like, what do you mean by that? I detach? What the fuck does that mean? Are having a disagreement and again, or just something no. withdrawing. Mm -hmm. Withdrawing? Right. What's your toxic trait? Uh, detaching. Completely withdrawing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like, detaching and completely withdrawing. With, like, completely withdrawing? What do you mean? Like, you're done with the nigga? And then, oh, okay, I'm done with you. Like, you like to, you one of those who likes to end the relationship? And then, oh, try to get, like, oh, I'm done with you. Oh, okay, okay. Like, okay. all the time or just something? No, just, like, okay. if we are having a disagreement and, again, like, I'm not being heard, I withdraw. So, I'll yeah, need I'm some gonna, time. I'm going to break up with you. Okay. And I'm going to go okay. get with another dude. And then Thank I'm gonna you. Come back. Okay, Josh. Need. I need some time. I am going to have you what? pop two balloons. I'm walking Based right off back of, you know, the things you've heard. What I'm you've picking Miss Cowgirl and uh, the whole time. Seen all She's that good crazy. stuff. She's the okay. calmest one. Um, I'm going to go right here. Okay, and then one more. And right here. Okay, so why did we end up popping her balloon? Because she's she too nice. Like, a people pleaser, <laughs> I don't. Because I've, I've dealt with that before. You know what I mean? Like, I can't. Like, a people pleaser, I can't do it. Mm. I wouldn't they, necessarily call it a people pleaser, but... If you knew my background, I, like I do a lot of um, giving back and things of that nature. So I have a heart. So I'm not going to say a people pleaser because I do have a flip side of me, okay. like to a certain extent. But no respect. OK, so but you put people before yourself. No, 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 no. To, to a default, right? No, 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 I don't put people before myself. I extend a lot of help. Like I'm always there to try to help someone. And sometimes that can be unhealthy, like 
let them figure it out. Stop trying to help them. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to put anybody before myself because I'm a mother, so I have to have my sanity and things of that nature to be a parent. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I just, everybody knows I'm always helping. So, <laughs> See, but the thing about that is you're going to stress yourself out, and then you're going to come home, and I got to deal with that mm. because you're trying to do too much for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't bring so. problems home, but... Okay. Still respect. Okay. Okay. Still respect. respect. Still respect. 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 Yeah, okay. I'm not bringing it home. We we leaving it at the front door. Okay. <laughs> respect. <laughs> Let's go over here. Why do you end up popping this balloon? You lying, bro. She lying to herself. Cause she loud. Oh. I just I don't like that. <laughs> I'm I'm very chill. So you know, if you're too loud, like nah, I'm good on that. Yeah, okay. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> Niggas don't do the yelling. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Let's go back over here. We did get a pop. Where was the pop? Back here, back here, back here. Okay, why did we end up popping our balloon? I pop because I could get loud sometimes. Like, I'm chill, but I like to be loud sometimes. So I don't want somebody like, oh, you're too loud. You can be loud with me. But are you disrespectful? No. I don't care if you loud, like, because you're having fun. But I mean, like, when you disrespectful. Oh, okay. That's what I'm talking about. Well, thank you for clarifying. Like, yeah. So, do you, after you clarify that, do you want the bloom back, or is it... I'm going to leave it pop. Oh. You're very handsome, though. Thank you. Okay. You're, You're very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we do have two balloons left unpopped. Ladies, any questions for Josh? He tight, because that's the one he Want to start wanted. down there? Okay, let's, let's go down there. She has a question. I know he tight. I can see Pop quiz. Face. Stock X. It's uh, all about the... <laughs> I would have been sick too if the baddest John popped my John when I was a couple of seconds away. Damn, nigga, you took too long, cuzzy. Ah, talked himself into the into the grinder. God damn. <laughs> right into all the Alright, what's your question? How do you um resolve conflict? What's your conflict resolution style? Um I think communication is very important, so I think it's important to like take a step back and see where you're wrong and just kind of see how you can. That's the only answer is communication. Why are you mad? Okay, let's figure out if it's a valid reason to be mad and let's go from there. Find some middle ground and talk, talk through things because 99% of the time it's just misunderstanding. You know, if you talk, yet, get through so it. Much. Mm -hmm. So that's. And do you know your love languages? Um. I like kisses on the neck and compliments. Physical <laughs> <laughs> touch. Physical touch and words of affirmation. <laughs> right. Well, fi like, fi I'm not going to say physical touch because, like, I like my space, right? Mm -hmm. So I don't like to be crowded or, you know what I mean? Like, even, like, in bed and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you got your side, I got my side. Like, don't come near me. <laughs> right. Not, and it's, it's not like <laughs> I know how that sounds, but I just like my space. I just put it that way. Okay. So kiss right. me on my neck all you want. Don't you know, um, don't come near me. He talking. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, man. This is your shorty we talking about. This is your wife, your girl, the shorty. She's sleeping at home with you. You talking about I got my side of the bed. You got yours. Don't come near me. Yo, yeah, brother, man. You on some other shit. You on some other shit, partner. Okay. So kiss me on my neck all you want. You know, um, yeah, and just compliment me and we good. Okay. So, dude, and what's your son? He act like a shy 14-year-old still. Like, he don't know what's good. Like, this nigga, what? Sign. My what? Your son sign. My son, I don't know. Like my, like, uh. Your Zodiac. Okay, Zodiac. I'm a Capricorn. Okay. Let's no. go. Yeah, so again, we're, we're 30, whatever. <sighs> this is how you know. This is why you're single. You have absolutely nothing to offer. You're 37 years old asking, what is your Zodiac sign still? Does that matter? at that age like are you looking for a relationship or are you are we in high school still these are actually they might be perfect for each other because this nigga is acting like he's in high school she's asking questions like she's in high school they they what are your love languages what like yo what are we doing here bro what is what's what is, like <laughs> what's up bro Come okay. on, son. all right let's head on back this God way damn. why she can't turn around like, got any questions for josh 
Um, so I have a few actually. Yes. Um, so who currently is delusional about you? <laughs> so are you single? Do you believe you're single? Or is there anyone out there that believes they're in a relationship with you? I'm, uh, I'm single. I am single. Uh, I, I do have a rotation, but it's... <laughs> <laughs> thank you but thank you for I your honesty I just gotta be honest cause it's gonna come out eventually so you mm -hmm. know what I mean like I appreciate it but you mm -hmm. Josh what do you mean you by you have a rotation mind, I talked to several females you know that's a pH just, balance issue gonna, no sir I'm not doing nothing with it, with everybody if, if that's what you're trying to get at but mm -hmm. We talk on the phone like I said we too grown for this kind of shit you should have ended that now I'm single and that's that. This nigga talk like, what are you doing, cuzzy? Female. I see why you single, cause you don't know what the fuck to say and when to when to talk and when not to talk. And clearly, this shit makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like, Josh, what do you mean you by you have a rotation? She me I appreciate. Tight, though, cause she she fifty and she doing the most. But you, can, mm -hmm. I can see why you single too. Josh, what do you mean you by you have a rotation? Extra. I talked to she extra shit. Several females, you know. That's a it's pH just, balance issue. No pH, sir. Like, I'm not doing nothing with it, with everybody if, if that's what you're trying to get what at. What does him doing something with somebody have to do with her pH balance? Her pH balance has to do with her taking care of herself. Whatever he's doing, you get what it's like. Come on, Shorty, you just talking out, Jack. She didn't look like she was too interested in it anyway. Like I don't know. Yeah, but she, yeah. we talk on the phone, you know. Mm -mm. <laughs> I need my man to be my man, my man, my man, and crazy about me and only me. So when you talk to me, you. If we didn't, I, she, they don't even know each other. How is he going to be crazy about you, my man, my man? You guys didn't even know each other until just now. I need them to be all about me. Shorty, I, I just met you right now. How am I supposed to have everybody cut off? I, what are we talking about here? Man, be yeah, but we talk on the phone, you know. <laughs> I need my man to be my man, my man, my man, and crazy about me and only me. So when you talk to me, you drop everybody else. Mm -mm. So so make me crazy about you. Maybe I'll drop the rotation. That's what I'm it's saying. It's probably some sweet girl out there that's crazy about you that's already in rotation. All right. <laughs> she probably love you. Nah. <laughs> nah, we we I, I won't let it get to that point unless like it's you know what I mean. It's got to be. Nah. She insecure. Uh, okay. she, she insecure. When she heard he had she had to compete, it was over. She popped down here too after he says. <laughs> Once she heard she had to compete, it was over. She backed out. Something about you Scary. got rotation. All right. I feel like y'all don't got rotations. I know y'all got rotations. What you mean? Y'all be the worst. So it was the rotation. It was that and yeah, you're gonna tell me miss miss biker on the end miss cowboy you don't think there's 50 niggas in her phone you don't think miss orange has 50 niggas in her phone you don't think she has enough come on bro makeup comment come on, bro. it's like i like a nice clean beat i i live for it so i'm not gonna stop wearing makeup because you don't like it I didn't say it was a deal breaker. I just said I don't like too much makeup. But... Well, I like makeup. <laughs> okay. What you got on is cool. Like, I ain't worried about it. I appreciate it. that. But you said you don't like it, and I wear it, like, <laughs> a lot. <laughs> you're, you're overthinking that one, but I... Okay. <laughs> oh, man. Josh? <laughs> so this is fun. What I'm starting to realize is they don't really want to... Uh, they just want to stay here for the whole game. They want to hear, they want to stay, they want as much attention as possible. They want to hold the balloon for as long as possible, hear everything the nigga has to say, then pop the shit so they can wait for the next nigga. None of them are about to walk off with the nigga right now. They're just here to enjoy the game, and I'm starting to see that. Now, maybe one of them would have took him, but I don't know. I thought we had somebody for you. <laughs> Okay, well, unfortunately, that is you all the balloons. Like you nervous. Got somebody for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, up, well, buddy? unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Thank you for coming on, Josh. <laughs> yeah, but your dumbass know how to clap now. I don't fuck with him. <laughs>
Want to register for an LLC in four easy Man, they need to get me on one of these shows. I'm just curious. I just want to have a conversation. Hey, yo, smash that sub button. Welcome to the family. Do you think you could have pulled it off? you think you could have backed any one of them shorties? Man, let me know down below. I'm going to catch you on the next one. All right. Deuces. Ah, oh, shit.